Good day everybody. I did this question but there has been an oversight in assigning the values for the sides of the quadrilateral. So the problem has turned out to be theoretically possible but practically not possible. So I'm redoing this question and I'm very thankful to the subscribers who have brought this to my attention. So please kindly see their names I have given credits to them for bringing up this mistake so let me draw the circle first We are expected to find the area of the shaded region. We have been given this to be 90 degrees and this is H and one more information is that this is an isosceles triangle here. It's an isosceles triangle here. And then we got another information also. That information is from O. There is a hit at the point F. Okay. So with these information, we are expected to find the area of the shaded region. Now, in the previous problem I had taken this side I had assigned a value for this and then we have been given BC right? BC is equal to 15 units so theoretically I had taken a value for this and I have assigned a value for this GH Though we can execute the problem due to the fact this is 90 degree, the values turned out though feasible theoretically, but practically we wouldn't be able to get this case scenario. So that is the error that we cannot tolerate. So I'm redoing this question with this given status with this case scenario okay so let me reiterate you got a triangle a b c inside the triangle you got a semicircle we are not being given anything else other than these two sides and we are also being given that this side is same as this side so we got two triangles and a quadrilateral. BC is equal to 15 is given and one more value is given. DE is equal to 14 units. Right and O is the center of the circle. And O center of the semicircle. Okay, so with these information let us start. So if DE is equal to 14, this means uh, OE is equal to 7 which is equal to OF. Now by tangent theorem, since OF is the line drawn through the center of the circle and 
it's the tangent it's the tangent to the circle at F clearly O F B angle O F B will be equal to 90 degrees so a line drawn through the center hitting the tangent to the circle will make an angle of 90 degree now we've been given we've been asked to find the area of the shaded region so area of the required region will be equal to area of G C F O the quadrilateral minus the sector area of sector H O F we need to get this sector now to get the area of the sector we need to get this angle theta since OFB is given to be isosceles they will have the same base angle so let me take this base angle as alpha base angle is alpha so considering triangle O F B we get what do we get alpha plus 90 plus alpha some of the angles are 180 so 90 plus 2 alpha is 180 this implies 2 alpha is equal to 90 which implies you take away this you push this 90 on the other side you get 180 minus 90 which is 90 so alpha is equal to 90 divided by 2 this is what you will get 45 so alpha is equal to 45 degrees now I'm going to consider triangle AGO. Let me use this space. Let us consider triangle AGO. Since AG is equal to zero, uh, AG is equal to GO, which means uh, the triangle is isosceles. which means they will make a same base angle so which means let the base angle be equal to beta so I'm taking this to be as beta so if that is beta this will also be beta now consider triangle A B C or A C B right so from this we have beta this is 90 plus 90 plus alpha is 180 so alpha plus beta is equal to 180 minus 90 which means alpha is 45 plus beta is equal to 90 therefore beta is 45 right now beta is 45 alpha is 45 right so from this figure if I were to consider the angle if we observe the figure we see that what do we see alpha plus beta plus theta this entire thing this entire thing is going to be 180 right but alpha beta is 90 so theta is equal to 90 degrees this is the this 
angle alpha is equal to 90 though it is a beautiful angle but because of this angle the entire previous problem was thrown out right so this is a good value but one uh, key observation is that theoretically scenarios are possible but practically things may not work out so what is possible may not be what is probable so I have retained it, I have kept the video but I am going to place the link of this uh, video for your uh, understanding and uh, comments so I have I have got here, I have got here theta is equal to 90 ok now all important fact we got to know the quadrilateral right now we have been given this uh, this side is one and the same so this side OF is taken OF is equal to 7 so FB is equal to 7 this entire length BC is 15 so CF is going to be 8 units now please observe this this is uh, 90 this is 90 this is 90 so this is 90 so this is 90 so th three angles are 90 so this angle will also be 90 so that means we got a quadrilateral which is a rectangle so if this is 7 units naturally this is going to be 7 units if this is 8 units this entire thing is going to be 8 units so the problem is simple right so if I were to find the area of this quadrilateral what happens area of this quadrilateral or area of this rectangle so I can complete this question here yeah? so area of rectangle what's the area of the rectangle we got length into height right L times B which is equal to the length is 8 units the breadth is 7 units so you got 56 units now area of the sector let me write this down area of sector is equal to theta divided by 360 multiplied with pi times r squared this is 90 divided by 360 pi times r is 7 squared 0 0 cancel 9 divides here 4 times so you got 49 pi divided by 4 so the required area what is that 56 negative 49 pi divided by 4 units now if you want you can use your calculator and find out so 56 negative 49 times 3.14 divided by 4 so you can get the calculator and find out I will get my calculator so 49 multiplied with 3.14 and you get 153.86 that has to be divided by 4 you get 56 minus 38.465 so 56 minus 38.465 so the area of the shaded region is 17.535 square units okay so this is the solution for this question and uh, this is the rectification i have rectified the error thank you everybody